What's up guys, it's Grimzag here with another video for Grimzag Does Weathering. I'm going to be showing you how to do the hairspray chipping technique so you can get scratches and chips of paint off of your models so it looks like they've been battered up. Usually this technique is done with an airbrush but today I'm going to show you how to do it with just a hand brush. Uh, it works quite well. I've used it on several models. One thing I would say before we start, it works best on models that have a lot of flat pa panels or are large and you're only going to be doing a few colours on them. Anything more than that, it tends to look a little bit busy, but it's uh, at the end of the day it's going to be down to you as to what you decide to use it on. So let's get into it. First up, quick what you're going to need. We're going to need a prepared model. Now with this project, you're going to need something that's already been primed and has the base colours on. You're going to need to think about that a little bit beforehand. Work out what colour you're going to want as your top coat first and pick a colour that you're going to base base the model with that will show through. Uh, the first time I did this I did red rusty effects and then did a red top coat so when the chips came off I had red on red you can see it at all. Secondly you're going to need a matte or satin varnish. I'm going to be using Citadel Purity Seal but again whatever is preferable to you. Thirdly you're going to need your hairspray. Now for your hairspray you're going to want something that's got extra, uh, try and aim for extra firm hold and a cheap brand. Now there's reasoning for this. Your extra firm will have a little bit more of the, the plastic ingredients in it. So when you chip it you'll get bigger chips. If it's not extra firm you'll get tiny little chips and it can sometimes you need more coats to get a good effect. Now picking the cheap brand, I, I've got um, just a, a supermarket owned brand is because usually they dissolve better in water and as you're going to be using that factor quite a lot it it's uh, preferable to get something that's not too expensive. Thirdly you're going to want your top coat paint so again down to you for this, mo this model I'm going to be using some yellows, blacks and whites with these top coat paints you're going to want something that's high pigment so you can do it in few coats. A couple of these that I'm using now for example are Citadel base colours because they're, you need fewer coats. You could use something like Vallejo Extra Heavy. You can get away with normal paints, you just have to do a couple of extra coats on them to get the coverage you want. You're going to need some water uh, and a brush to apply it with. It's probably worth having some kitchen towel handy as well just in case because it can get a bit messy otherwise. And then you're going to need your scratching or chipping items. With mine I've got a, a bit of a selection, you'll see them in the video, but I've used uh, to toothpicks, modelling tools, my, my favourite one at the moment is an electric toothbrush that I've got, any of those would be fine. So let's give you a quick explanation on how this technique works. First off you have your painted model underneath with a protective seal of varnish. On top of that you put your hairspray and on top of that you put another layer of paint. Now what happens is when you apply water to the top layer of paint, the top layer of paint is not waterproof so that will seep through and dissolve the hairspray underneath which is water soluble. When you then scratch or scrub at the top layer it's not attached to anything but because of the hairspray dissolving which means flakes of it will come off. That gives you a a really nice random effect you have no control over apart from picking where you're going to scrub at the model you have no no control over which paint flecks or what shapes of you're going to get and that's hard to emulate with a brush stroke so first up you've got your pre pre-prepared model in this case because I know I'm going to be using a lot of yellows whites and blacks I'm using the pre-rusted model that we did in our how to paint rusty metal plates um, Grimzak does painting video. Because I don't want to damage the paint underneath, this is where the varnish comes in. I'm going to give it a, a couple of coats of the Purity Seal just to make sure it's defended against everything we're going to do above it. Once that's on and that's all dried, you're going to give it several coats of the hairspray. Don't be worried if it looks like it's going on heavy, it, large amounts of it are going to evaporate. Depending on how big a chip you want on your model depends on how many coats you're going to need to do. Normally I do no fewer than two and this one I've done three um, but I've applied each coat very heavily. Uh, you can see it running off at several points on this. Once your hairspray has been dried, you can see here it's got like a nice satin finish to it. 
you're going to go over each of the colours you want and then just paint them directly onto the model. Try not to water your paint down too much, you don't want to dissolve the, the hairspray underneath. This is why we're using heavily pigmented stuff. For the yellows I'm using Orlando Sunset and for the black I've used Advent Black. However, which both base paints as I've said, both Sicilian paints. The top coat is just going to be a standard white because I don't have any base or heavy paints for them. Just paint that on with a rough coat, don't worry about shading or highlighting, just get the paint onto the panel if you want that colour. Once that's all dried, uh, you're going to take your paintbrush and water, put your model on a piece of kitchen towel because this, could get, this is where it gets messy, and you're going to liberally apply water to each of the panels you've painted. You don't want to leave this too long. The, I've, For the sake of this video, this model has been left maybe three hours. Um, I've had times where I've left a model for a couple of days before coming to this stage, and it just makes it hard to chip off. As you can see with this one, the... I've got several of, the, several of my tools here, but usually I start off with the toothpicks just purely because you can then scratch it up and rough the surface, it gives you a good starting point. Uh, in this case, the paint's coming off very, very easy with the water, so from this point onwards I don't use any of the other tools, I just use the electric toothbrush to sort of scrub rough areas of the model off. And as you can see, it's all flaking off quite nicely. I'll go over the entire model with the with the water and the, the toothbrush and show you what it looks like afterwards. So here you can see the whole model's been done. We're um, I, I've done all the yellow as well as the the black and the, the white. You've got a nice chipping effect here. To be fair, that's all you really need. That's that's pretty much finished at that point. However, as you can see, there's a couple of points where you can't see any of the details on things like rivets. Down here you can see, there's, you can't see the, the separation of the armor plates easily. There's some washes you can do to bring that back out, I'll, I'll show you that later on. But as of now, this is the, the hairspray technique more or less finished. You can go over the model with a uh, piece of kitchen towel, just lightly dab to take off the excess water. Um, that should dry it out enough that you don't lose bits of paint willy nearly all over the place once you've finished the weathering effects. Once all the water is dried, and I would leave it for a couple of hours at least, you don't want any dampness still on your model when you do this next step, give it another coat of your varnish. Again, in this case I'm using the Purity Seal. Main reason for this, if you're going to do any other painting on top of it, you don't want paint to continue to chip off. Once you reach the stage you have with the chipping, seal it off with your varnish and then move on. Happy painting, have a good one.